What's up YouTubers, Johnny DIY here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix a small leak in your car's AC system as well as recharge it, including how to use manifold gauges and a vacuum pump. Alright guys, if you're new to this channel, do me a favor and click the subscribe and the bell so you can get all my notifications for my new videos. Alright, let's get to it. Alright, so you are going to need a set of AC manifold gauges and a vacuum pump. I went ahead and rented these. You just put a deposit down at AutoZone and they have a Lona tool program. It's about $300 to put down as a deposit, but you get it all back when you return it. So the colored hoses just match up with the colors right here and the fittings go on the end. You can go ahead and hang the gauges up here on your hood. Alright, now you're going to want to find the low and high side service ports of your air conditioner. They are usually marked with these little caps. One that says an L and one that says an H. On this car they are right here, but if you have a problem finding them, there's usually one on each side of the condenser which is in front of your radiator so you can kind of follow the hoses. These are kind of metal hoses. Alright, so the blue hose snaps onto the low side port and you just pull this little tab back and push it forward till it locks in place and the red hose is going to go on to the high side and don't worry about getting these mixed up these fittings will only fit on one or the other so you don't have to worry about that and then we are going to want to open them so you turn these fittings clockwise to open them now I know my AC system has a slow leak because I've charged it once before and it lasted through the season but then died out by the next summer. So I know it has a small leak. This is only going to work if you have a small leak. It's not going to work if you have a big leak that leaks out in like a day. Alright, so then we will take our vacuum pump and we're going to screw the yellow hose right here to the top of the vacuum pump. We're going to want to vacuum the system, not only to get all the air and moisture out of the system, but this is going to tell us if we have a really bad leak. If you cannot even hold a vacuum, then there's no point in recharging the system. It's all just going to leak out. So our vacuum pump's plugged in. Go ahead and flip it on. Then we are going to want to open these valves. The blue one and the red one. We're going to want to run it until this gauge on the left runs all the way down to around 29.30 of vacuum. All right, now we can go ahead and close these off and turn off our vacuum pump. So it'll probably take about 10 minutes or so or it might never even get down there. If it can't get down there, that means you have a major leak in the system and you're going to have to address that before you can go any further. Alright, now we'll let the system sit for 30 minutes and that'll tell us if there's any leaks in the system. We'll just read the vacuum right here and we'll come back in 30 minutes and check to see if it's at the same level. Alright, so it's been about a half an hour and it has dropped in vacuum. That is because there is a leak on the system. I already knew that. It should hold the vacuum all the way down to 30 when you turned off the valves if you don't have a leak, but I've got a leak, so we know that. So now we are going to turn the vacuum pump back on to get all the air and moisture out of the system. You really want to get the moisture out of the system because this AC stop leak, this attacks moisture in the system. That's how it plugs up the leak. It goes to the moisture and if you don't evacuate the system altogether, you can end up clogging your system and ruining the system. It will be useless. So let's go ahead and turn the vacuum back on. Open these up. Now we're going to want to vacuum the system down for another 30 to 45 minutes. That's going to get all that air and moisture out. Alright, now after 45 minutes we can go ahead and close these off and turn off our vacuum pump. And then we can go ahead and disconnect these. <sighs> There we go. Alright, now we'll get our can of AC Pro AC Stop Leak. And you're going to have to get one of these hoses to screw onto the can. I'll go ahead and put some links down in the description to the tools and supplies I use. Alright, then we just take the end and we snap that onto our low side port. Make sure it's on there good and tight. Now we'll go ahead and start up the car and we're going to put the AC on full blast. Then we're going to squeeze the trigger on our can and alternate the can like this until it's all gone into the system. Should take about 5 or 10 minutes. Alright, now when the can is empty, go ahead and unscrew it. Then we're going to want to put a regular can of refrigerant on it. Shake it up and do the same thing. 
If you're unsure of how much refrigerant your car needs, go ahead and check online or sometimes there's a sticker up here on the hood that gives the amount of ounces or pounds that it is. You're also going to want to subtract the ounces of this. So subtract three ounces from this can from the total amount of refrigerant in the car. Go ahead and use a scale to weigh the can so that you can get an accurate reading of how much refrigerant you're putting in. Once you have enough pressure in the system, the AC compressor will start kicking on and off. Right here. There it goes. When the can starts to get warm, that usually means it's just about out and you need to change the can. We'll screw another one on, fill it up the rest of the way. Go ahead and periodically check to make sure your car is not overheating and go ahead and put a little temperature gauge in your vent to see it. It should be getting down to around 40 to 50 degrees. Alright, now when the last one's empty, we can go ahead and remove our port. We can put our caps back on. Now let's go check inside. Alright, well it took five cans, but I got it down to chilly about a little under 50 degrees. If you guys like this video give it a thumbs up if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe and click the bell so you can get my new videos all right guys thanks for watching johnny diy and remember stay cool